Hey guys, it's Danny. We are here again to do a unboxing and first impressions because I cannot wait to show this to you guys. I haven't seen anyone flip through it yet. So I'm like extra excited. Like I cannot contain myself. I talked about this. I'll try to link it somewhere. I believe we talked about it on three fat readers when we were talking about like, um, decks that were coming up or what we were looking at to buy or something like that. Um, I talked about the movie tarot and I hadn't seen a whole lot of pictures. Um, I think they showed us maybe like the fool and the high priestess and some stuff, um, kind of on the back here. So let's kind of dive in. So the packaging is really nice. Mine's kind of dipped. Um, it almost looks like it was like stacked. Something was stacked on it. I just got this in from Amazon. There's no wrapping on it. Um, so I was like, okay, this is produced by Lawrence King. Uh, illustrated by Natalie Foss, written by Diana uh, McMahon Collis. I hope I said that right. So we have movie tarot, be guided by the stars. It's like got this like shiny, like foiling on the sides and here. I don't know if, you, yeah, there you go. You can kind of see, but it's kind of got that throughout. So let's see, pop this open. Really nice box. We have the guidebook, guide to the characters, how to read the cards. Let's see, introduction. We have the hero's journey, drawing and interpreting, conducting a reading, close up. Oh, these are the little um, spreads, close up, lights, camera action, and the big picture. And then, oh, great. Okay, I was wondering if they were gonna tell us who's on all the cards. I wanna see if I can figure it out, but just in case I can't. <laughs> Looks like we have all the majors here here and then the miners so I don't know how the miners are I wonder if they're I wonder if they're pips I don't know because I don't think I've seen them at all okay well let's put this aside and let's let's get into it okay so yeah none of this was wrapped but we do have these kind of oh it's a thick deck check that out um, we do have this on here <gasps> and we have our fool. We have Forrest Gump. Okay. Let's just dive in like no waiting. All right. Got it. Even we got Forrest Gump here with the fool. All right. Let's see. Okay. And then we have, um, the Martian. I don't remember his character name. Um, but Matt Damon, Lydia Dietz as the high priestess. Okay. So a side note, this was one of the main reasons that I bought this deck. Like, I don't know. The thought of Lydia Dietz being the high priestess was everything to me. So there's that. <laughs> oh, we have, um, Cleopatra, uh, Elizabeth Taylor as the empress. We have Scarface. Al Pacino as the Emperor, which I think is great. Oh, the Hierophant, uh, the Godfather. These are great characters. The Lovers, Brokeback Mountain. I love this card. I remember seeing this on um, on the website. They only released like one or two um, little sneak peeks of the majors. And I remember the Lovers card because I was like, oh, yeah. The Chariot, Gladiator, um, Russell Crowe, Clint Eastwood as Justice. I don't know what movie that's from, but it's like Clint Eastwood in most movies, right? <laughs> we have The Hermit. Now, I'm not familiar with this. This looks like Meryl Streep. Okay, let's look. Cheating already. We're only a few in, and I'm... Um, Okay, yeah, Meryl Streep. So, yeah, this is as Karen Blixen in Out of Africa. Okay, so I have not seen Out of Africa. Oh, I love this. The Wheel of Fortune is Doc 
from um, Back to the Future. So that's Christopher Lloyd. I love these characters. Strength is uh, Sigourney Weaver from Alien. Oh, I love that. And here we have another one. I don't, I don't know what that is. Like at all. What is this? Oh, okay, yeah. Uh, Bjork in Dancer in the Dark as Selma Jinskova. So I'm not really sure. I've never seen that. I've never even heard of that. Okay. Jake Gyllenhaal, Donnie Darko for Death. I like that too. Oh, Temperance. We have read from the Shawshank Redemption, which is one of my favorites. The Devil. I don't know what that is either. Well, listen, I'm not batting a perfect average right now. <laughs> Let's see. Um, Selma Hayek as Sin... I uh, don't even... Okay, look. I'm not even going to pretend to know how to say this. Sorry, y'all. I don't know this. From Dusk Till Dawn. So... That's that one. I'm not familiar with that either. Now I'm going to have a movie list, right? What haven't I seen? I need to see these now. Oh, yes. The Tower is Samuel L. Jackson from uh, Pulp Fiction. I like that. <gasps> Judy Garland, the star. I think it's from The Star is Born. Is that right? Is it right? Yes. We have David Bowie as the Goblin King himself in the moon, which I think is perfect. Julie Andrews, The Sound of Music for the Sun. Like, that was a great choice. Oh, Kill Bill. Uma Thurman in Judgment. I like that too. Oh, I don't know her name, but that's um, from Fifth Element. I don't know her name. I can't remember. I watched that not long ago, too. Lilu in The Fifth Element. Uh, Mila Hovovich? I think that's how you pronounce her name. I'm not good with these names, apparently. Ace of Coins. This looks like Michael Douglas to me, okay? Right away, this looks like... Oh, it looks like we do have pips. That looks like Michael Douglas. I... I don't know... I don't know for sure though. Uh, these are the courts, kings, queens, knights, pages, coins. Let's see. Hmm. Oh no! Did they not say who was on the ace of coins? Oh. No. Nowhere. Oh, that's a bummer. Okay. So, okay. So let me know who you think this character is. I think it's Michael Douglas because that looks like him to me. That's the first person that I could think of. But I don't know what it would be from. Okay. So if you know, leave that in the comments because I don't know. Okay, so let's see. These, yeah, we got pips, which is fine. I'm totally fine with that. Very plain. Oh, this we have, like, the giving, though. Seven. Looks like these two have a little more to them. Everything else seems pretty plain. Pretty plain Jane. Oh, we have um, Slumdog Millionaire. Uh, what's his name? Dev Patil? I think his name is for the Page of Coins. <gasps> Keanu is our Knight of Coins from the Matrix. Oh, that's a good one. Laura Croft, Angelina Jolie as the Queen of Coins. <gasps> oh my god, y'all. That is the perfect King of Coins in my opinion. Like, the man who has everything, but is still kind of nuts, right? I love that. Oh, boy. 
Of course, it's an ace, and I don't recognize who that is. Oh, let's see. You know who it kind of reminds me of? Um, oh, what's her face from The Notebook? Ra is it Rachel McAdams? But I don't know that movie enough. I avoid, okay, so a thing about me. I avoid rom-coms or just like romantic dramas and sadness in my movies. Like, I, I don't know. It's just a flaw, I guess. I'm not a fan. Um, so I avoid the notebook like the plague when it comes on because I think it's too horrifically sad. So <laughs> I think that's who that is. But I'm not sure. So, again, let me know if you know. I'm kind of sad that this is not in the guidebook. Anyway. <gasps> Ooh, look how pretty the cups are. <gasps> oh, well, like, these are a little more expressive. I like these cups. Oh, my gosh. Look at the five. It's got, like, the tears and them turned over. Well, these, I, I feel like the cups are way more thought out than the pentacles. I mean, the coins. Seven. Eight. We have the full moons behind there. I like this. The nine. Well, this reminds me of, like, Disney. I don't know why. The blue, I guess. And then the ten. I like that. Oh, we have um, the Shakespeare in Love guy. Page of Cups, Joseph. Ooh, what's his name? What's his name? What's his name? Let's see. Joseph Finnis? I don't know if I said that right. <laughs> of course, because apparently I can't pronounce anyone's name today. Okay. Oh, it's Wesley <laughs> from um, Princess Bride. I love it. Oh, he's the perfect Knight of Cups. Oh my God. <gasps> that character is, yes, I like that. Oh, I like that a lot. Queen of Cups. Oh, I know this movie poster. I've never seen it though. I feel like it's, um, is it like French? <laughs> I don't know it, but I know the, I know the movie poster. I know it. I know, I know, I know it. I feel like it's an older movie. Where is it at? Where is it at? She's the Queen of Cups. Queen of Cups. Um, Audrey Tattoo in Emily? I guess that's how you say that. Do you see it right here? I recognize the movie poster. It looks just like it. Okay. So maybe another one I watch. Oh, <gasps> Bill Murray. This is from Lost in Translation. Okay. So if I have to say, that's probably one of my favorite Bill Murray movies. And I feel like he was so good in it. It's like set in, uh, I think, it, I believe it's in Tokyo. And with Scarlett Johansson. Oh, such a good movie. Anyway, I nerd out. <gasps> Tyler Durden, another one of my favorite movies, Fight Club. I know that one immediately. Oh, he's even got, looks like some bruises on his face. Oh, I love that movie. Good book, too. Chuck um, Polinick is, I think that's how you say his name. Again, don't look for me to say a name right. But his, like, his writing, the way that he writes and most of his books, I thoroughly enjoy. There's only been, like, one or two that I'm like, ugh, I don't like the voice. Because he usually has the best voice for our, like, narrator. It's usually, like, first person type stuff. This is not a book review. I'm just saying. <laughs> He's a great author and he wrote Fight Club. Anyway, okay, swords. Let's do this. Chatty Cathy today. Okay. Very cloudy swords, cloud ish, high up in the air. So I like that. Oh, the Six of Swords. We even have like a messenger here. On these mountaintops. That's interesting. Right. Getting a little wonky. Oh, that's a good nine of swords. Ten. Oh, we have Robert De Niro in taxi here. Oh, that's a good page of swords. 
Man, they really made some smart choices. Okay, another one. I feel like I've seen this character, but I can't put my finger on who this is. Knight of Swords. Numi Rapace. In oh, girl with the tra girl with the dragon tattoo, the Swedish version version. Blah. Let me try that again. The girl with the dragon tattoo, the Swedish version. Yes. Okay, so I have seen this. And I've seen the Swedish version. Um, but I would have never guessed if I was being honest. I I would have never guessed. But again, another really good Knight of Swords. Oh, we have Basic Instinct right here. Uh, Sharon Stone, is that her name? I feel like I should know this right away, but I'm pretty sure I'm right. Yes, Sharon Stone. I doubt myself. Oh, Tom Cruise, King of Swords. That's um, not Mission Impossible. That's uh, Minority Report. Yes. Bruce Lee, our Ace of Wands. Oh, that's great. That's great. Well, it looks like I struggled with two aces. The other two are fine. What was that? Oh, just a piece of fuzz. Okay. I thought we had... I thought we had a scratch. Okay, three of wands. These seem to be a little more plain. We do have our laurel here, our wreath. Seven. Eight in motion. Nine. Ten. This almost seems like a ladder, this ten of wands. All right, our page. We have Will Smith in Men in Black. Is it, is it K? No, K is the other guy. Oh my gosh, whatever, it's a letter. You know who I'm talking about. This one... I don't know this one. I seem to have trouble with these knights, too. Well, two of them. Um, oh, Charlize Theron in Mad Max. Yeah, I probably wouldn't have guessed it. I haven't seen... Um, I mean, I've seen Mad Max, but maybe this is the new one? Because there was an old one, right? I feel like I've seen it. Maybe I'm thinking of... Um, Maybe I'm thinking of Waterworld. That's like post-apocalyptic as well, right? Anyway, oh, <gasps> Katniss Everdeen from The Hunger Games as the Queen of Wands or the series uh, Jennifer Lawrence. I love this. She is a great Queen of Wands in my opinion. I love this character in general. The books are really in too. <laughs> There's a new one out and I read it and it was good too. Okay, anyway, King of Wands. Oh, Indiana Jones, yes. Y'all, oh, this is so fun. This is so fun. Oh my gosh, I love, I love this. I love this. I just feel like these will be a good time to, um, you know, like when you're just looking for some layers, you know? And great for pip work. I really like this. Ah, this is really fun. Okay, so again, Make sure that you drop a comment. Let me know who you think the, um, I, I still say that's Michael Douglas, but maybe if you have a, a better clue, but I think that's who that is. I just can't pinpoint what movie or what anything, but that definitely looks like him. And if you know if this is Rachel McAdams, because that's my best guess, which would be really good for a, an Ace of Cups. So... Let me know what you think. Okay, let's talk about this cardstock. So, yeah, this is a pretty thick deck. This reminds me of something that I recently, well, oh, I was gonna say maybe, it's like, it, it's almost cardboardy versus like that, um, like plasticky. I don't know. I don't know what I'm saying. But it reminds me almost of the, um, The Witch, oh my god, Modern Witch, um, but not as thick, but like the same type of cardstock where it's like almost, 
cardboardish. Let's see how it shuffles. Well, let me kind of come up a little bit so you can see. Okay, let's see. Oh, it's real. It's real. It's real stiff. It's real stiff. Okay. Oh shoot. I almost said a bad word. <laughs> yeah, this is very stiff cardstock. Very stiff cardstock. Wowzers. Okay. There we go. Oh, much better. This one is going to have to be broken in. For sure. Okay. So, yeah, I mean, I feel like I might edge this because of how stiff it is, I feel like we're gonna need to kind of like protect the edges that they might get a little ratty, if I'm being honest. But like, again, this is one of those decks where I would really enjoy doing ratings like for myself or even like on my Instagram, like have like a fun little thing because you can dive into our majors and our um, court has just such a it has so many layers, right? If you know them, just like the Game of Thrones tarot, which is I still one of my favorites to read with because I know the character so I can dig deeper. And then again, it's got a few that I don't know. So I'm like, oh, well, let me dive in and see what other meanings they they hold, right? And why they chose them. So let's, um, well, I kind of want to do a, a major. Well, let's go. Well, let's do this. Since it's on the bottom, let's do death and see how, how they're written out. <clears throat> okay. So they seem to do a really good job with like labeling all the majors and stuff. It looks like the courts, they list everyone down here. This is just like what Kings are and queens and night like kind of like a basic okay and then it's more like in depth here with like that specific page and night or whatever so our court okay but it looks like they do a bunch of stuff for our major so that's kind of what i wanted to read and see if it talks about the character okay so again we have death jake gyllenhaal as donnie darko in donnie darko <clears throat> life lesson so there's a life lesson here at the bottom. It says, find ways to rejuvenate and engage with life for renewed vitality. Cool. Okay. Um, looks like some keywords. We have alteration, transformation, loss, ending, or parting, boredom, depression, stagnation, regeneration needed, handling failure or disaster, bereavement, forced removal, immobility, recovery from illness or shock, transition. So there's some good keywords. I love good keywords, by the way. That's like my favorite thing. Um, death marks a need for pausing and reflection. An ending merits breathing space for a new beginning. You may be unable to avoid the inevitable, but remember that life goes on. I like that. So we have a little, we have a bunch of keywords, a little kind of reading-ish with it. Um, and then we have this at the bottom. Oh, Okay, so Donnie Darko illuminating his unusual positivity about the end of the world. I hope that when the world comes to an end, I can breathe a sigh of relief because there will be so much to look forward to. I love that. So it looks like on every one, it's like the character kind of speaking to kind of what's going on, like maybe why they chose it. Wheel of Fortune roads, where we're going, we don't need roads. Oh, I love that. That's fun. That's just the nerdy, that's just the nerdiness in me. I am a movie nerd. And so this is really exciting, just on a personal level to me. But I will say, like, I feel like this is definitely a, a personal level type tarot. Now, I could be wrong. Some people, I mean, you can use it for whatever you want, right? But for me personally, like this is something that I would use for myself or like I said, like really fun Instagram posts where you kind of dive into the character and um, stuff like that. But like, I don't know, I, I really I like it. I really do like it. 
So drop me some comments, guys. Let me know what you think of this deck. Is this something that you would use? Uh, did you know a lot of the references? Is it kind of lost on you? I'm curious to see um, if you guys like this deck, if this is something that you would use like personally or if you would use this professionally. Um, yeah, I want to know your opinions. I dig it. I really do. Is this something that I'll reach for all the time? No, but I feel like it has a place. You know, it really does have a place. And I mean, yes. <laughs> so anyway, guys, if you were looking for me, all my links are down below. My Etsy, my Instagram, how to book a reading, three fat readers, all the other good stuff is all going to be down below. And as always, I am sending you all my love. Mwah! Later, gators.